Garba. Is it really you, George? Well, get the cinders out of my hair and wash my face, and maybe we'll both be sure. Jed, get Mrs. Haz's bags up to the guest bedroom. And make sure Simi Ramis turns down the bed. Why didn't you let me know you were coming? Because I didn't want you to tell me not to. I, I know I haven't written, but I'm uh, extremely busy with the harvest and all this political turmoil. Yeah. And I got off the train in Charleston. It reminded me of Mexico. Only I felt more welcome there. How things up north? Just where they are down here. There's some people up north who can't wait for South Carolina to secede so we can all go to war. But war fever is not why I came down here. Why then? To try and save our friendship. Georgia. Now hear me out, Ori. I've thought about apologizing and writing, but that's never been good enough for me. So I'm here to say it face to face. I'm sorry. Please don't let a fanatic like my sister or the ones down here kill our feelings for each other. Have you heard from Virginia? No. Not since that night. But that's another matter. I shouldn't have taken her part. I lost my temper. <laughs> so did I. Now you put me to shame, George. God, I'm glad you came. I missed you, George. <laughs>